What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to some breaking news, and we have the Madrid Open entry list just being released for the, both the men and the women's competition. And it's very interesting to see some of the names that are in, and especially some of the names that are not playing out of the top 10. Let's go to the list. Let's start with the ATP list. So we have world number one, Novak Djokovic. He's confirmed to play. Daniel Medvedev's also playing. Rafael Nadal, of course, he's going to play. Dominic Team is also playing. He pulled out of Monte Carlo, but it looks like he's going to play in Madrid. The final City Pass will play. Alexander Zverev also on the list. And Roger Federer, he is on the list as well, having pulled out of the Monte Carlo Masters. This will be the first tournament back for Roger Federer since Doha about a month ago. So we're going to see Roger Federer on the clay again in 2021. Also, Rublev, number eight in the world. He is also playing. Schwartzman's playing. And Berrettini is also playing. So every player in the top 10 for the ATP playing in the Madrid Open at this stage. Going over to the women's event now, we've got the WTA entry list. Ash Barty, the world number one. She's playing the event. Naomi Osaka is also on the list to play. Simona Halep as well. Sophia Kennan. Alina Svetolina is also on the list. Karolina Pliskova. Sabah Belenka is also on the entry list. Bianca Andreescu is also on the list, so that's good to see after she pulled out of the Miami final due to an injury. Petra Kvitova also on the list. And Kiki Burton rounds out the top 10 to play at the Miami Open. But the biggest name missing from this list is Serena Williams. She is not playing the Madrid Open. She has not entered the tournament at this stage. She can get a wild card at the last minute if she changes her mind. But Serena Williams not playing the Madrid Open, which is a huge story considering it's one of the biggest warm-up tournaments for the French Open. So there you have it. There is the list for both the men and the women's tours. And everyone's playing out of the top 10 for both, except for Serena Williams. She is not playing the Madrid Open at this stage, but she might get a wild card last minute. She changes her mind. But that means if she doesn't play that event, she's going to have to play Rome, which is one tournament before the French Open, which is happening at the end of May. So that is going to be interesting to see how Serena does having not played that much clay court events, if she does, in fact, play the French Open. But it's also good to see Roger Federer. He's in action at the Madrid Open. Let me know down in the comments below, who are you most excited to watch at the Madrid Open? And the men and the women's. A lot of people will obviously say Rafa and, and Djokovic and those big guys. But I'm excited to see Federer back on the clay courts after two years, having not seen him there. The Madrid Open entry list, they're out. And some big players are playing.